Hello my lovelies So I was just sitting here Right, first of all Tell me if you can see Would you be able to tell that I have a winged eyeliner on? No There it is <laughs> This is why us hoodies can't wear wing eyeliner so the only way I can wear it is if I talk like this all the time But if I'm not surprised You can't see it <laughs> Why I did that? I obviously know this That's why I don't ever wear winged eyeliner I have done a few times, you know, in the past But I was looking at all my false eyelashes Because I'm still you know thinking about doing this video for hooded eyes best eyelashes for hooded eyes and i found a box with some extra eyelashes that was here in my store and i was rummaging through it and i found this uh, this is probably the best gel liner in the world well from what i've tried this is the inglot one um, and this one is number 77 I absolutely love this liner even though I don't use it very much um, and I was sitting today is Sunday so I was just putting a bit of makeup on and I thought I'd play with this eyeliner and it's so so beautiful to apply and also I found the Dura line from England so this is um, this liquid so this um, eyeliner sometimes after a long time can go a bit you know dry and crack so you just put a drop of Duraline it's like a um, it's like a mixing medium for makeup so um, also you can drop some of it into your mascara if it's gone a bit dry so um, I knew that I bought it and I remember once looking for it I can't remember I think I wanted to drop it in a mascara and I couldn't find it and that's where it was it was in that box with with all the eyelashes so yeah I found that and if you like using gel liner this one is amazing now you see it now you don't <laughs> pointless isn't it unless I walk around like this it's a very very good liner okay I'm going I just thought as I was playing with this eyeliner I will tell you about it good morning my lovelies so I am sitting here I was putting my makeup on and then I thought why am I doing my eyeshadow I'm working out today <laughs> but it's just like a habit I sit here every morning watch my telly and put makeup on it doesn't matter i'm doing it in a garden no one is gonna see me um i've put today on the natasha denona this peach color on my eyelid this is the palette 08 and then i used that one from the mini uh, zendo palette mini zendo I wanted to talk to you about some skincare so you know you don't often see me I don't really work with companies on skincare or reviewing a skincare product because I am very careful I, I feel like if you are going to review something like skincare if it works or doesn't work it takes months of trying it and to be honest you still i'm still not sure if things work or not uh, i can tell you things that i like and i enjoy using and there have been things in my life that i felt that made difference like the um skin deva vitamin c serum i always bang on about it um i actually just got a new one um, but other than that you know it's just things that I enjoy using and I feel like they might make slight difference so um, I've gone back to three products that I was raving about long time ago 
so if you've been with me for a very long time uh, you remember when I used to have pretty impressive bags under my eyes and that was that, that thing bothered me so much and I found this company called um, Tranquility Skincare and I found this eye cream called Banish Puffy Eyes and that has made such big difference to my eyes to my under eye bags that I was very impressed and I used it for a very long time and then I also used the Olay Pro Retinol that was much later and I was very impressed with that cream so what I did I actually repurchased the Tranquility Skincare Banish Puffy Eyes you won't be able to see it because it's a white tube they've actually changed the formula and packaging of it because it used to be in that sort of packaging the eye cream and the formula was just like this like cream this one is now in a tube like this and it's more of a I don't know if you can see it is here gel so why I did it because I've noticed my eyes started getting a bit puffy and yes it could have been down to a diet or whatever also most of you know um, about two years ago would it be now or three years ago I started having under eye fillers which really made the biggest difference but the last time I had fillers under my eyes must be a year ago if not longer because I know I went last October but I didn't have anything put under my eyes I just had my cheeks topped up so um, also sometimes remember with a filler if you eat too much salt or you are dehydrated because filler is just a hyaluronic acid which is a humectant and it attracts moisture it sometimes can hold water here so i've had a day where i woke up and i had a, like a big bag i mean like a swollen thing under my eye and that's where the filler held into water it just goes away but um, sometimes that can be um, attributed to your diet as well but anyway I think my filler is slowly wearing off and you know I think I derived fillers last at least 18 months so I'm not in a rush to have it done I don't feel my eyes looking that bad but they were getting a bit puffy so I have repurchased this cream I was a bit surprised that it was a different formula but I'm still happy with it so um I don't know if they've changed the ingredients or, or what. I might contact the company and ask. And I also got the um, Youth Research Cream. So I use this under my makeup in the morning and I've used this before as well. And then do you remember the Ole Pro Retinol Cream? I use this one at night, the Tranquility Skin Care in the morning. There was a big hoo-ha with this cream. Um, that made my under eye area looked really nice as well I love this cream but in the US you had this cream came out eye cream but it was in a red tube and people were saying well I don't see any results I don't get that and it turned out that the ingredients for the US version of this cream were a bit different uh, for example the retinol was much lower on a list you know the higher the ingredient is on a list the more of it is in it so um i don't know it must be to do with your fda rules or whatever i don't know but uh, yeah that was the problem so i have been using these two now for about a couple of weeks and i feel like my eyes are not as swollen anymore so I am happy to have these back now cleansing balms you know I love cleansing balms to take my makeup makeup off and the first one that I was always using was the Clinique take the day off and I enjoyed it but you know when you're into that stuff you like to explore and buy more and different stuff then I bought the Hamish all clean balm and you might remember 
it was just i don't know three weeks ago i bought this lms pro collagen cleansing balm and i must say i'm not a fan of it so i've realized now that there are two types of balms there is the lms one they are basically solid but as soon as you put them in your warm them up in your hands they turn into like oil but i've noticed that lms i had another one that was like this are almost like vaseline very thick and quite greasy and when you then taking it off with the cloth you feel like you have residue left and also i feel like this one irritated my eyes i want a balm that i can use on my eyes and everywhere and i feel like this one irritated my eyes well i tell you the story about my eyelids here in a minute but definitely won't buy this one again so i've just bought my hamish again i love this one it's got a little spatula and can you see this one looks more like coconut oil and it behaves a bit like coconut oil so you still feel the slip it melts but it's not that heavy thick greasy feeling and i can use it on my eyes it doesn't sting my eyes so i've repurchased a couple of these again while i'm talking about my eyes i've noticed for the last i don't know couple of weeks or three weeks my eyelids here just here became a bit itchy and sore and a bit red and i can't work out what it was so i was thinking it could be this balm and also i've been then double cleansing my eye and using the micellar water from garnier and i don't know if it's this because after i've taking my makeup off with this i would still have some mascara left on my eyes then i would go over with that and then my eyes would sting my eyelids so it's either one of those so i've stopped using the micellar water for my eyes and i repurchased i used to use this one from simple eye makeup remover and i loved it it's never caused me any trouble this is very clean it doesn't have any nasty ingredients in it but i also thought i tried the body shop chamomile gentle eye makeup remover as is chamomile should be very um soothing so i used that one for the first time yesterday last night and I still felt a bit of a sting, but I don't know if it's because my eye is still a bit irritated. So I will carry on using it. I know I won't have problem with that one, um, but I want to try out this one properly. So I'll carry on using it and I will let you know if, if I like it. It's a huge bottle as well, 250 ml for eye makeup remover. So good value for money oh on my lips i have the bird's beast um what's this one called lip shimmer in peony this is my favorite oh. i love it it's such a pretty lip balm hang on i think i can hear delivery right i'll be back in a minute. it was something for paul how rude i like to get packages <laughs> i don't know what i was saying now Thing i was talking about my lips about the birds bees thing yeah i have booked my hair appointment now <laughs> so i still have a couple of weeks to go oh i can't wait honestly i just look like a witch now and i mean at the back look at the size of my roots can't believe i'm actually quite dark my hair is quite dark and i don't have as much gray if any here at the back but i have quite a lot here at the front why do we get gray at the front first i don't understand it i don't mind going gray because i will always be blonde so gray doesn't bother me i think gray hair is worse for those of you who 
always had dark hair and wore your hair dark and if you are dyeing your hair it's such a big contrast isn't it between dark and grey so the roots show up so quickly but yeah I don't mind it the last couple of days have been so beautiful it was 21 degrees yesterday and I think it's going to be 25 today it just feels so lovely and spring yesterday for the first time we didn't have to wear a coat to go and walk Louis but I think it's getting cooler again from tomorrow or something but at least we can see the spring coming so um, yes but still no freedom so you know Boris has extended the emergency powers for another six months which means that for another six months they can tell us what to do that's why they have to keep this pandemic going because if there was no emergency they can't use those powers um, I can't see any emergency yesterday there was um, in I think there is something like 67 million of us in the UK uh, 23 people died so yeah this is very big emergency meanwhile I think 450 people die every day from cancer and you can get married now because in our free society from I think last December it was actually against the law to get married can you when you hear that can you actually believe it you can get married now but you can only have six people including the happy couple at your wedding so swallow that okay you know I will have to express my distaste for the situation every time I talk to you on Monday and I'm not going to stop that's how I feel I've got the right to my own opinion um, and if you don't like it you just you know go and watch someone else hopefully uh, they won't find any big emergency in, in the next couple of months because we have booked um a week break in new forest do you remember last year when we went to new forest um in august was it in august i don't know but it was like the hottest week of the year like over 40 degrees and we only stayed two nights and we had to come back because we thought that louis would die from overheating there was no air conditioning in that place so uh, yeah it shouldn't be that bad this time we have rented a cottage so of course i will take you with me and show you around um, i'm looking forward to sitting you know in a restaurant or pub garden and going for nice walks and maybe drive to the beach with louis so it should be really nice and then in august i think we are going to lake district uh, hopefully it will never be that hot there even though it's august you know the further north you go the less hot it is um i just worry because it's august um all the kids will be on a summer holidays and obviously we are not allowed to go anywhere abroad this year so i feel like it's gonna be absolutely packed and busy um in lake district but you know it will be fun okay my lovelies i better go i need to do some vacuuming before my workout i'll be really hot today working out um and i will see you later hello my lovelies i am sitting in a car park waiting for paul so he has to go i think he's at once a year for like a special eye test where they put these funny eye drops in his eye and he's not allowed to drive after that he like dil dilates your pupils pupils yeah so um i think that's gonna take like half an hour or so so i have to wait for him um just as we were pulling out of our driveway the postman arrived so he just passed me the parcel um over through my window and um, so i wanted to show you what i got so i saw the revolution beauty came out with these four small palettes and they looked so pretty um, that I had to have them so I bought all four of them so that's what they look like 
this one is called these are called revolution pro moments this one is called enchanting look at that they just looked so so beautiful i haven't swatched them obviously or anything i just got them just unpacked it here then there is bewitching like a lovely rose gold then the purple one which is called captivating and sort of i don't know a couple of them look similar mesmerizing and mesmerizing let me have a look these two look very similar Hmm, actually they don't I thought these two looked similar but they don't this one's got more of a mink this one's got a bit more rose gold in it so yes I think I'm going to do a separate video on those like swatches and everything and I will try them out and see how they perform and also I got this a uh, plex number three so you know all plex I actually have the number six I think uh, the living treatment and it's very expensive but now so many companies uh, use those uh, protein treatments for for your hair with this plex um, this plex system um, so I got the number three which is bond restore treat treatment so I think you put that on your wet hair after you've washed it so yeah I'm gonna try that I think it was 10 pounds this bottle so I'm gonna try this I've washed my hair today and did absolutely nothing to it just dried it with a paddle brush so I've done nothing with it but it's no point because I only right now if I wear my own hair I wear it up anyway and other than that I wear wigs till I have my head, hair done next okay I think I am going to probably listen to something watch something on my phone um, while I'm waiting for Paul because I have nothing else to whinge about to you well I've got plenty to whinge about but I don't want to always be whinging good afternoon my lovelies so today is Easter Sunday so happy Easter to all of you or who those who celebrate it we are out for a walk what else it's a beautiful sunny day but it's gone a bit chilly but it's quite warm in the sun so we are going to the same park there we go most of the time I am wearing my Gucci glasses that I bought probably not last year I've done nothing last year must have been the year before um, yeah it's nice to start getting my sunglasses out now this jacket very very old I bought it in Tesco's I think for eight pounds and I love it it's just such a I like the color of it it's a very, it's very good quality and also it's just the right thickness you know for this sort of day and my lovely tie-dye sweatshirt from super dry I got it on Amazon not in super dry but I think this sweatshirt has sold out everywhere now so yeah but I will have a, another look and if he's there I will leave you the link oh I think Louise already in the water we already just got here how come you're in the water already it's not that hot mm. stuck to him <laughs> at least this is nice and clean water <laughs> 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 
love the costumes. <laughs> Enjoy, you have a lovely day. <laughs> Every time that my mind slip, I just see my past life. Having dreams in a dream, I wonder why I carried on with the things that made you lose your mind. There's no way I can undo what I've done. Can we be strangers again? Start fresh like a morning. What's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of time There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Of you Like, but I do So you faded out while I watched it down Obsessed with myself Wanna hit the reverse on what's broken Can we be strangers again? Start fresh like a morning But what's so bad about that? So why won't you follow? Why won't you follow me home? I know I can't make you mine Yes, I ran out of time There's no hope for me I fell down the bottom So I fell down way deep But if I can't have the real you Then let me make a 3D print Oh, you Lovely week. I will see you in my next video.